Hey guys, Spartan here from SpartanTraining.com. Want to hit you guys with a little bit of an educational video uh, this week, and I think this one can help a lot of people out there. I've talked to a few traders on the phone um, over the course of this uh, this week, which I you know just do calls with traders whenever they want, um, just because I know it helps out. But what I have continuously you know, had come up is when the market gets a little bit choppy. Um, these traders not sure when to switch their mindset or switch the type of style of trading they're, they're doing. And that is definitely something that comes with experience, but there's a few things that you can do in order to recognize when the market's becoming choppy in order to then go, oh yeah, I should switch to this type of a trading or if the market changes from choppy into, you know, trending, etc. Now I talked about this in another video um, that I recently put out, which was called recognizing or how to know when uh, the market or the spies can be trading on an inside or an outside day. Um, similar concept, that is definitely important. Um, when you, the market's trading on an inside day, you know, if you look at the last day's high and low, if the market's trading within that, um, it's probably gonna be a little bit more choppy. If the tra market's trading outside of that, it's gonna be an outside day, you get a little bit more follow through. Now, in this case, in this type of a market, what you're getting is the spy or the cues trading within um, pretty much a resistance level on the upside and a support range level on the downside. That could be an EMA support or a, you know, just an actual support level like a um, low low level that is acting as support on the daily. In this case, the market's been trading between all-time highs and it was trading between all-time highs and that 434.96 level of support and now it traded down to the uh, EMA support down here at uh, 432.60. So anyways, going back to this concept is when we get the market trading within a high and a low, a range. You're, ten, you're gonna tend to get names that are gonna trade with the market within that range that will be choppy, and you're gonna get names that are going to trade outside of the range or not look anything like the market and have relative strength and relative weakness. And again, that's something that I've covered in a quick little YouTube video as well. But how can we as traders recognize when we should change our style to adapt to the market? Well, first and foremost, we must pay attention to whether or not it's an inside or outside day. Um, the second thing we should pay attention to is how these stocks are trading uh, in comparison to the SPY. If they're mimicking the SPY, they're going to be trading in sympathy with the SPY. And if the SPY is trading between a high and a low, and it seems to be always trading at the middle of its range between that high and low, especially intraday, you can go market is choppy. I should probably flip to more of a scalp trading mindset. In and out of things, not letting things basically follow through um, to the upside or the downside without... Uh, you know, taking profits and, you know, certainly moving stops up quickly and things like that. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Another thing that you can do as traders is when you are noticing that your P&L or your performance is decreasing because the market is choppy, you know, you'll notice a couple of things. You're frustrated, first and foremost, and you'll also probably see that um, most of the money is made in the morning and then in the afternoon, you, you give back a lot of the the, you know, the, the profits that you make during the day. That is a clear sign of choppiness. You get your volatility in the morning, the first hour and a half, most likely probably like more like an hour to half hour. And then it starts to slow down and get choppy and be a little bit more frustrating intraday. That's a good sign or that's a good sign that the market is becoming choppy and you should flip to more of a scalp mode. And one thing that you can do is when you, if you do fill out a journal every day, which I certainly do recommend that is a great idea. Um, I would write what's going on. You know, if you write down, you know, market's been good in the morning and I'm losing money in the afternoon and you, you see that for like one day, two days, three days, after two days, you start to see a pattern, right? And if after two days you see the same thing over and over again, then the market is choppy. You should change to more of a scalp mindset and see what happens when you're just taking money. You're selling pops on, you know, small stocks that are popping to the upside because they, you know, don't have any fall through, etc. So couple things to keep in mind um, when recognizing chop. In short, do a quick little recap. Inside days are most likely gonna be choppy. Anything trading in, in sympathy with the market on an inside day is gonna be choppy. Uh, when you see little to no follow through on you know small caps or mid caps, even big caps, uh, most likely it's, it's gonna be a choppy. Um, if you get only follow through in the morning and none in the afternoon, choppy. And if you see these things, flip to a scalp mindset, take the money as it comes and move on. You know, it's not the type of market where you can put your foot on the gas. It's more of a market where you need to take your foot off the gas, conserve capital, be very picky in regards to what you do find and try to try to trade. And if you're looking for full trades, then you got to try to seek out those relative strength or weakness names. 
Anyways, hopefully that helps, guys. Just a quick little thought for you there. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys next week. Have any questions, you can go to SpartanTrading.com. Have a good one.